Hello, sketchbook heroes. My name is Eladio, and we're here to take on challenges. We're here to take on drawing challenges and uh, and capture the princess. All right, so here we go. That's what heroes do here. So um, we are going to be talking a little bit about um, the journey, the hero's journey, and we're going to be uh, drawing cats and faces today. So here we go. Let's start there. There we go. So you have to start with your why. Why are you here, right? I, I think uh, the best reason why is just for fun, right? Some of you uh, want to draw still lives, portraits, figure drawings. Uh, some of you doing it for uh, just for fun, animal drawing for your career or however. Uh, it's all should be, I guess, based on fun, but you should have like an intention or to learn. And to learn, uh, that's, that's uh, basically your purpose, your intention. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to try something and it doesn't work. So what usually happens, it's one of these things. And this is the foundation. These are the fundamentals, the foundation, the building blocks. And these are the elements of art. So let's focus in on that. And it's line, shape, form, value, texture, color, space. And then you put all these blocks together using the principles and composition to get what you want, right? Your purpose or your intention. If you're just doing it for fun, maybe you're just learning the line and shape and, and understanding that. So when you are first starting, you really want to just focus. Beginners should just focus on shape and form. Don't worry about the other stuff. Don't worry about value, texture, or, or color, you know, space. All this other stuff is, is uh, you know, you'll get there eventually. You really want to focus on structure. And structure is just shape and form. And if you're really new, new, you really just want to, Focus on shape, looking for shapes, drawing shapes everywhere you see around you. Everything is made up of shapes. Even form is made up of shapes. So you want to look all around you, look for shapes, practice drawing shapes. The two basic shapes, there's three, but the two main shapes is the circle and the square. You want to look for circles and squares everywhere. Practice drawing them, practice seeing them till it becomes automatic. And then you move on to form and uh, and the basic forms and the ones that are the, the important forms are the the, the sphere which is the, the ball and the cube right so so those are the important forms um that i shouldn't be able to draw even from memory all right so let's go uh and then uh, oh there's two kinds of drawing observational drawing from uh, observing and then uh, creative drawing which is abstract and or can be anything actually uh it doesn't have to be abstract you're just getting creative um, and draw anything you'd like. Uh, so basically, that's that's our our, our uh, little thing here. It's your, it's to help you focus and uh, and and uh, phases because sometimes you want to go through the shape phase where that's all you're doing is focusing on shape, and then you want to go through form. You're just focusing on form, and then moving your way up um, up there. All right, so it's really all about structure, getting the structure in these beginning classes, focusing on structure. All right, let me see. There we go. That's it. So today we're going to be drawing. That's it. We're going to be drawing. <laughs> I'm not going to be drawing yet. It's getting hot in here. Uh, we're going to be drawing. Where did I put it? Oh, yeah, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Our website. All right, we're going to be drawing this cat. Actually, is it this cat? No. These are the ones that were suggested. Ah, I lost it. I lost it. I had saved it. So these are these come from your suggestions. We are going to try to uh, go simple to complex. So this is actually a cat. Uh, the second cat we're going to be doing. We'll draw this one pretty quickly, and then we'll get to that cat. This one's actually a little more complex. And then we're going to get into faces. Uh, we'll probably draw this face, and then we'll get into more faces. This is a little more complex. I'll try to keep it simple. That was probably the most complex one. The head is tilted, and there's a lot of things going on there. And this one's a little more complex too, but we will start um, a little more simple than that. We'll go to our meetup page. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Uh, events, is this it? Uh, no, Boudoir shoot. shoot. Let's see. All right, so let's get this going. I'll put it in the chat as well. So this is how we do it for those of you who are new. Uh, here's our online event. We click here. And hopefully uh, our images are not here. I think I tried it. Oh, here we are. Yeah. All right, cool. We have 13 images. So let's see all there. This is the cat I was looking for. <clears throat> all right, here we go. So feel free to put pictures here. I know some people put posted pictures. Those are the ones that I have over here as well. The people have posted pictures in when they sign up for the class. Um, 
So this is the one we're going to be doing first. I kind of rearranged them uh, this one. All right. Now it looks really complex, and it is. Uh, we're going to copy this. Copy image. Up. Oh, copy image address. Copy image address. There we go. Let's put it up here. Oh, I wanted to save that one. I'm the, I'm the king of tabs. My students would always, Mister, you have so many tabs. I'm like, yeah. So uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We are going to focus on this cat. Let's zoom in uh, this cat down here. Yeah, we'll be drawing this cat. And then uh, there's another cat down here. I might break some of these apart a little bit just to talk about them. If you'd like to draw all of them, feel free, challenge yourself. If we're going too easy, uh, you know, um, you know, challenge yourself, try drawing another one, try drawing a, a different version of the cat. If we're going too hard, tell me, hey, I'll slow down or I'll try to repeat if you want me to repeat anything. This is live, so I want to help you as much as I can to, to help you draw. So we are going uh, beginning. So we are going to start with this cat. Uh, let me put that in the chat. Let's see, where's the chat? Here we go. Moving smoothly today. <laughs> All right, there we go. There it is. That's the that's the cat. If you want to screenshot it, you can feel free to screenshot it. I do not have right now. My printer's not working, and um, the, I haven't figured out the technology to have both the image and my drawing on at the same time. So I do apologize for that. I, I that is on my list of things to do. Amongst the uh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> I get to do what I, I want to do now. So it's all right, let's annotate this. All right, so we're going to start off. Uh, always look for the, 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 the shapes. Now we use wrap to draw, even though we have uh, lines, shapes, form, and all the elements. We do break it down even further. We do break it down even further uh, with wrap. The wrap helps you uh, overcome the challenges in drawing. So what RAP stands for is ratios, angles, proportions, and practice. And that was on um, that was on this before. Uh, I don't have it. I can't bring it up. It was on on the map that I showed before. But I, I it'll be on there next time. But it helps you get to the next level. It helps you understand shape. It helps you understand form, and it helps you understand perspective. So ratio, basically ratio, what ratio is, is the height compared to the width. And sometimes you want to just focus on that. Uh, what's the height compared to the width? So it becomes automatic. You want to see shapes have height and width, like the shape of this head. It has the same height, same width here. There is a little bit of um, other things going on. But let's take that shape and see how big the head is, the body is compared to that. And that's proportions. So wrap, R-A-P-P, is it here? Oh, on my website, I can't go to it. All right, so we're going to take R A double P ratios, angles, and proportions. So proportions is how big something is compared to something else. So we have the head. You can see how big the head is. That's a circle shape. And then if we go up here, and I let go of this, actually, let's see if I go right at the top. I let go of this. The ears are about half a circle high, right? So when you have more things. You can see how the ears compared to the head. the head. The ears are about half, you can see right there, those two little dots, half the size of this circle. Now, if we take this circle and bring it down here, you can see one and probably one and a half. Yeah, one and a half times. So um, the head is one, the body's one and a half. Altogether, that would be, oh, uh, plus the half of the ears. <laughs> I'm not going to do the math. So, <laughs> all right, I want, all right, so that's it. We're going to draw this cat. So basically, I don't know if I can break, I can break this down a little bit more. Uh, the cheeks do pull out a little bit. The cheeks do pull out, and there is a little bit of, um, as far as here, uh, a little bit of push, almost like it's being squished, and, and the cheeks do pull out a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at uh, where the eyes are. The eyes are a little bit above center. And it's good to observe what you're going to draw before you draw it and see how it all relates, how it all fits. Um, eye space between, you can see the eye space on the sides. Um, well, it's a pretty simple, simple cat. All right, let's do this. And if you get it, great. If you don't, that's okay. It's about the practice. It's about the process and, and doing the best we can. The more you practice, the more you progress. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ah, have your pen or pencil ready. Doesn't matter what you use. Um, all right, here we go. All right, so let's bring this down. 
And here's a your app. Let's flip it around. Let's find a blank page. All right, here we go. I should probably draw it really quick so you can just see it first and then <laughs> draw it from there. But uh, I'm going to use a pencil today. There we go. All right, so I have my head I'm, and sketch it lightly. I'm, see, it's, it's a circle shape. I'm not even worrying about the, the push and pull of it. Uh, and then half that size is where the ears are. So actually, yeah, I'm just going to make sure it kind of fits on my paper. And I already kind of see how big I'm going to do it. So I have the circle for the head. Uh, bring that circle down. That's going to be that, that circle and half of that. That's where the bottom is going to be. That's the height of the body. So you got the head, the body, and then the ears are half that up there. Oh. So there it is. I can I can already kind of see how it's going to fit on my page. I don't worry about uh, anything else. I can I can already just start start sketching it in. All right. So here's my head. Uh, it's a circle shape. So I can I'll let you go ahead and uh, catch up. While I let you catch up, maybe I'll draw it really quickly on the side. Maybe let's see if I can draw this really quickly on the side. Yeah, but, I, I, you know what? And actually, I thought about that drawing it more than once. And maybe if I had a better pencil, where's my blade at? It's all good. All right. Let's see. Two eyes. Okay. The ears. Whiskers. It's got a simple dot nose. All right, so I'm sure you have this, the head. Notice how it's just scribbled in. It's just a sketch. We're used to seeing finished drawings, and that's what everybody wants to do, but it do, this is the framework. This is the structure. This is the structure uh, we're, we're putting in, right? You usually don't see the structure of a house, um, but it, it's there, all right? So we've got how far down we need to go. Let's take a look. There we go. Yeah, looking good. We have how far down we, we need to go. So we know where we're going to aim to. We want the head to kind of like, um, well, I didn't talk about this, but there's an axis line this way too. So the, the axis line, the height and the, the width, the ratios, and these angles, we have a vertical angle going straight up and down right there. Now the body does um, curve out on this side. So it's kind of like a pull. And then this side is a little straighter. And we don't have to worry about the feet on this one, which makes it a little bit easier because the tail just kind of curves right in front of it. So there is a little bit of a pull or push. If you think of these shapes that you're drawing as clay or plastic, you see, I can I just fixed it right here. See, so I didn't draw it perfectly. I sketched it. There it is. And bring the tail up. There we go. Seeing how all these shapes fit together, adding the tail, sketching it in. There we go. Oh, there it is. All right. So let's do the ears. Ears are half the size of the head. So that's how far up I did my line up there. And uh, they kind of go almost straight up. They're almost, if I if I really simplify it, they're, they're really straight. There's a lot of roundedness to it. But um, it's kind of like there. You got to watch the space in between. And there we go. There's the ears. And rounded everything out a little bit. I'm going to pull on this cheeks a little bit. Pull slightly pull out the cheeks. So we have the circle. I'm going to slightly pull the cheeks out just a little bit. So these little subtle things that make the difference. There it is. All right, let's do the hard part. <laughs> let's do the bow. So the bow is off center. Here's our center, right? The bow, this little piece right here goes right there, a uh, little bit of a rectangle shape. 
in there. And then you have the, the bows, which is really like a triangle, rounded triangle. So if you draw a triangle, that's fine. I mean, look at these angles here. This is more important here. I'm not going to round it. I'm, I'm actually straightening it out to make it easier. It doesn't go all the way out. It goes right there. See, right there like that. See, I, I straightened it out a lot more. Because when you're first drawing and learning to draw, you want to don't let the curves confuse you. You want to see these shapes afterwards if you want then you can curve add a little bit curve you'll see how easy it is to kind of like make something that's straight cur curve out put a little bit of curves to it yeah, i'm just curving it out now but you want to see the shapes first that's the process see the shapes and then uh little curves and stuff like that that can come afterwards and the detail always goes last. We're starting to put detail in here because we're getting close, actually. We've got the big shapes in. We can start putting in all the little medium-sized shapes, smaller-sized shapes. Let's finish this bow. Little bows. Uh, now, this got, has an angle to it. Comes out right about there. Got to see how far it comes out. I didn't really describe it too well or, or make any measurements. Just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I can't describe everything. You're going to have to choose, use your judgment. You're really using your judgment. You're trying to draw what you see, how it fits, how it looks. And sometimes you'll hit it. Sometimes you don't. And that's okay. You don't make every shot when you're learning. You know, it's, it's like baseball. It's not like any game. You know, you take, you, you shoot, you have something you're shooting for and it's okay to miss. It's okay not to, to get it right. You know, it does take that practice. Uh, it does take knowing too what to focus on. What's your focus? You're focusing on shapes. All right, I added that little, little side piece to the bow. And then uh, let's let's continue the body. I think I'm gonna pull it out up a little bit more. I'm gonna pull this up a little bit more. So I'm gonna pull it up and then down on it. There we go. There you go. I think I like that shape a little bit more. You almost feel the form. You almost want to feel that form. That's the next step from shape going to form. Trying to get that form. It comes out a little bit. Curve that mass. That's making, trying to create a solid drawing. There we go. I think the body looks pretty good. Let's get to the eyes. I usually do the face first and then do the body next all right basically the face is just two eyes now how do they fit well here we go we're going to draw a horizontal line right in there that's about where the eye the top of the eyes are going to be and then the bottom of the eyes are going to be a little right right about there right about there okay so uh, i can see where they're going to go i have my top line my bottom line my guidelines this will help line it up and they're uh, almost, they're, they're more of an oval, but almost circle, really close to the edge. Um, right about there, I would say. There's one. And then the other one. Look at the spacing in between. Look at this space here, the space right here. See this little space? Kind of bring that over over here so you can have the eyes right there. You can have the eyes. Um, pretty close to being symmetrical, symmetrical symmetry. That's another thing to practice. Yeah, as our website comes along and as I, I, everything, you'll, you'll, I'll show you what to focus on. You want to practice with purpose, practice with a focus. Okay, I'm focusing on shapes. I'm focusing on this. Okay, I'm learning about um, space, negative space. There you go. There it is, probably closer together. All right, little nose is just a dot right in there. Let's put a nose right in there. The eyes, the eyes are off center. So if we find the axis lines, here's the axis lines for our eyes, right in the center. They're um, top right, top right. So here's our axis lines. I break it down into fourths, like a pizza, four pieces of pizza. And then up here in the top right corner, there's one eye and this top, top right corner the other eye it's looking up to the right there he goes there's our eyes and they're not looking all over the place not a crazy cat 
Oh man. <laughs> My sister had a cat called Fluffy. Then we started naming it what is it, Squishy? I don't know, it got smacked. Oh, it was sad. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. 40 over 40 years ago. Oh my gosh, time flies. All right, here we go. Had a flashback. All right, so uh, let's add the whiskers. There's two whiskers, if you notice, uh, right on that axis line, that center. Uh, we're going to use do one, just kind of going across like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and start darkening everything else, too. And then that one right about there, a nice dark line. I'm going to go dark as well with my, I'll start outlining it. And if you want to color it or if you want to draw another cat, if I'm going too slow, if you're going to draw a mouse, use your imagination. We're drawing from observation. You want to practice both. You want to practice both drawing from observation and imagination. And sometimes, well, you might not have your imagination there. It, that takes time. If you can imagine a circle, just imagine a circle or, or imagine this cat again and try to draw it from memory. That That is a... That is a next step to getting you to, to draw from imagination. All right, we're going to uh, put the inside of the ear. Let's put the inside. Let's put the inside of this. Inside of the ear, there's an inside. There's the inside. Let's put the inside. I think I, I did it too close on that other one. I'm going to do it a little bit. There we go, inside. There it is. And see this really sketchy stuff? This is good. This is what a sketch is, and it's what a sketchbook should be, really sketchy. Um, this finished drawing stuff is, is, is okay, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't harp on it so much in a sketchbook. When you just want to do quick stuff, practice, don't worry about finished drawings. It's really about the practice in your sketchbook. It's about the practice. Notice how now I'm here. I'm actually putting a little more space around it. Go around it and this. I'm going to darken up all my lines now. All right, feel free to color them, shade them in, fur, or whatever kind of cat it is, feline. Uh, I don't know if there's no eyebrows, there's nothing else. Just darkening this. If you want to add some color, feel free. There it is. There's our cat. Uh, I didn't even have my other cat here, my little sample cat. I can finish the drawing that one. Size. Oh, artists create space. Notice how this cat looks like it's far away. Where's my blade? I might have to grab another pencil. Or even a pen, a ballpoint pen. One of my favorite things to use to draw. All right, let's, you can draw a scene, you can draw other things. There is a, a mug there, which is actually an interesting uh, thing. Why don't I draw the mug? The mug is, is um, not quite a square. It's a little bit, if I, if I just sketch it in, let me sketch it in with my pencil. Uh, that can help me get it started because it's not quite a square. It's a little bit more of a rectangular, the, the ratio. So I'm noticing the height compared to the width. I'm going to draw the mug just really quickly, just for the fun of it. Uh, what's Because what I like about it is, is the form, the form that's up on top, right? It's, it's a, actually a, a cylinder. So if we get that, oh, there it is, that oval shape, more oval shape, please. There you go. There's that oval shape. And then at an angle, we have... Um, the spoon or something that's coming out of it. Let's put it a little bit there. And then the bottom, this is where uh, my students always have trouble. So make sure this is rounded at the bottom. The bottom has to be rounded right there like that. It's not straight. It actually uh, echoes or is parallel with this shape. And if it's with perspective, it actually changes it's not exactly the same, but that's good enough. All right. And there's a little bit of a tea bag. Oh, maybe I'm not spotlighting myself. I'm not. I'm not. Let's see. I'm going to spotlight myself. I've been talking and talking. Let me see. All right. Let me take a look at the chat. 
if there's anything there. All right. I love this Studio Ghibli film uh, rap. Oh, R-A-P-P. What does it stand for? It's ratios, angles, proportions, and practice. Ratios, angles, proportions, practice, and placement. Actually, pr pr proportions and placement. Proportions and placement. Patience and persistence and all those these other ones it takes to, to get to the drawing. Uh, spotlight, that's what I need. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow. Can't believe it. Yeah, if you see something uh, like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> we don't see it like somebody earlier said, hey, <laughs> I had the wrong, I have two screens here and I had the wrong one. Spotlight. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add that little tea bag. The little tea bag just comes down, flows out. I'm actually adding a little more of a curve. Notice this angle that comes down here. Now, this is this is where angles really uh, show their uh, utility. These angles here, notice it's it's like a, almost like a diamond shape, and they're rounded as well. And we don't worry about the roundedness when we're first learning. We want to worry about the shapes, right, and the straight angles. Then, really easily, you can curve. I mean, you can add the curves really easily afterwards. You can just round out those corners. And now it's rounded. And there's some kind of star in the middle. So somebody, uh, somebody uh, seen this an anime or cartoon? That's cool. Then there's the cat in the middle, which is just an oval shape with the ears. Sketching it in, sketched in the oval, sketched in the ears, and and it's kind of put together. So we're gonna make that into one piece. I did an oval, then I added the ears. Now I'm just going to put it together just like that. And notice the parts, right? Understanding the parts and the whole, trying to see the parts. All right. There we go. And then the eyes, two round eyes. And uh, the eyes are a little more centered, probably uh, right about there. It's two little eyes. Now the hard part, right? The inside of the cup. So the inside of the cup, uh, just parallel with the top part, kind of going parallel in that same direction and then curves down. And then, there it is. All right, and that's form. All right, we're getting to level two. Level one is shapes, level two is form. And that's where you should be as a beginner. A level one or level two beginner shapes where you're just focusing on shapes level two form and if you're advanced you should be able to change go between both like okay here's a form here's a shape and, and be able to focus and, and change gears um but that, that happens when you already have the experience going back and forth being able to see both all right i think that's good there's a cookie and there's other stuff. Uh, it's up to you if you want to draw it. I can see I can just sketch it out real quick. But that's me showing off. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's see. What else is here? Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff, little flowers. You can draw them on your own. I think we're going to draw our next one, our next cat. Our next cat is a little more of a challenge. Uh, let me share my screen. And uh, let's let's go with that one. Here we go. There's Kiki, I guess. Uh, yeah. There's the mug, those who didn't get it. Notice here, I, what I really like about these is it, it's um, they're simplified. You wanna look at, when you're first learning to draw, you wanna look at stuff straight on, straight on, straight on for you, right? So, cause here, this envelope, it's not at an angle. The angle, well, there's an angle, but it's, it's you know, there it is, it's a, rect it's a rectangle. You can actually see a square. It's, yeah, there it is. It's almost a little bit less, probably two squares two squares wide, and that's ratios. You can see this one's a little bit, you can see the ratio here. And basically when you're looking at ratios, you're looking to see how, how many squares. There's a square and it's a little bit longer. This is also here a square. That's a, there's a little square right in there. And this pencil, the ratio on the pencil, if we get it, you can see how many squares fit here. Oops, yeah, it's a little small. Yeah, there we go. So we got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, six, about six. So you have six squares. So if you stack six squares, you'll be really close to getting uh, to drawing this pencil pretty accurately, right? So that's why ratios are really important. Look at the width and the height of the shape, the ratio. All right, let's, uh, so that's ratios, wrap. Ratios, angles, proportions, and practice. All right, let's, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, we can get into these faces. You can see the circle on the head um, here. It's almost another square plus a little bit of a rectangle coming out at angles, the whole body coming out at an angle. And then here you can see another square and that which actually would help you um, how long to draw these legs. All right, we're not gonna draw that though. Let's go to our next cat. Ooh, that's a good one. I can't wait to draw that one, uh, that cat. We're gonna draw this cat. Now this is cat is a little more complex. So here's more of a challenge. He's got a <laughs> he's got a little thing going on with his eye. Let's zoom in. Uh, here we go. All right, so we're gonna take on this challenge. All right, it's good. So it doesn't matter what level you're at, you should always kind of like be challenging yourself. Like, okay, I'm gonna try it. Right. All right. Let's do the same thing. Right. Now, what's awesome, awesome about wrap, wrap to draw, and, and you can use that method to draw anything you see, anything you see. They were looking for shapes. We're looking, then you're understanding form and you're using shapes to understand form. So really just looking for shapes. And what helps is looking for the ratios, the angles, the proportions and practice. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, look for the circle here. And I uh, wish it was transparent, but uh, you can see it's pretty, look at there, bam. And you can see it very similar to the last one. This eye's a little bit bigger. Uh, this one's a little smaller than that one. The shapes are a little more complex. Um, let's look at these angles here. You can see this angle there coming out, this angle here, and it actually just cuts in with these angles in here. A little bit of curve to it. There's a little bit of curve. I wouldn't worry about it too much. And I've got this thing happening here. Um, even this curve here uh, is really just almost like two angles. There's an angle here and an angle there. Actually, probably maybe three. We're really pushing it. But you want to see those angles. This is yeah, this is this curve is interesting. And if we just did one angle, <laughs> one angle, it would be like that. There's one angle. Two angles. One, two. And I think three angles would probably get the most. And then you just keep breaking it down. But it really helps uh, see that and see how it fits there. All right. Let's see how can, what else. What else can we break down? The triangle for the ears. These are interesting ears. It's the character because they're, they're definitely a cat's ears are usually not this big. So the proportion is changed for this cat. That's what they're making it. Uh, and you can see the different. Uh, expressions that's pretty cool now the angles are different the angles do come out uh not like the last one these angles go out so we're looking at angles ratios angles proportions and uh, placement now what placement is is basically um make sure the placement and there's no rule well there is placement um the placement is there because you can have the proportions right but the placement might be off so for example, you might have the head, uh, the right proportions, but it's in the wrong place. So that's, uh, that'll come later. And this one doesn't really show it too well. I think that's it. All right, I think that's it. Let's see, we get rid of this, clear all drawings. We're gonna draw this cat, a little more complex. Uh, oh, did I see, I didn't see the, the ratio, the proportions actually, let's see. See how big the, the body is compared to the head. The body, yeah. So here's the head again. We need to see the proportions. It's going to be more this time than the, the last one. All right, it's going to be more. So the other one was, uh, I think, uh, one and a half. This one's going to be more. You can see the body is bigger than the head. So we have one there. That's one. The body's one two, a little bit more than two, just slightly more than two. 
So you can already see the other one was one and a half size, and this one's uh, two. There's one, two, and then we can actually see how far the, the tail goes out, which is about one, uh, one and a half, one and a half, you know, about one and a half times out from, from where the body is. We can see how the head fits in the body as well. I mean, here's the head. You can see the, the here's the torso. The, the head fits really nicely in the torso. Look at that. The head fits really nicely in the torso. We're looking at these relationships. And then the, the, the hips, right there, one. And this one is actually cut in a little bit. It's not symmetrical, which adds interest. All right, good. We looked at those proportions. We didn't do that. All right, let's do this. Let's take it on. All right, let's take on this drawing. There we go. Should we do it here? It'll be do it bigger, smaller, have its own page. Let's have its own page. Let's have its own page. Let's go this way. All right, here we go. So I already know um, the body is, uh, the head's a little smaller to the other one, or relative. Actually, it's all relative. Einstein said, theory of relativity, it's all relative. Let's use a blue colored pencil. Um, so I have my head, it's up here. Don't want to lose it. Now, when I draw circles, I, I kind of like I'm landing my plane, right? When you're drawing, kind of like, and then you put the, put the gears down and kind of land. That'll get you a, a, a nicer circle. My notes. Let's put these drawings to the side. Last week's drawings. Now we got the size of the head. We can actually use the pencil here. And we know how, how big, do you remember? It's two. So a little bit more than two. Here's the head. I got my one. Here's a one. And two, and I know this is going to be about the bottom of where my, uh, there it is, the bottom of where my cat is going to be. So here's the, the head, here's the bottom, and then um, I can already, I can already, let's sketch out this these angles here. These angles, this angle is right about this angle here. It almost looks like a door key, door key, and I know it kind of, well, I'll, I'm going to draw it out make it symmetrical because it does cut in on this side. It doesn't really go all the way. So there it is. There's our, our framework. That's that's pretty much the proportions. And the tail is not going to fit. The tail actually should be going off, um, off the side. And the, the tail actually goes up. I can see right the, about the middle of the body, the middle of the body. And that's the, the torso as well. That's where the head was. And uh, right about there is where that tail is going to be. Uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I didn't make uh, an allowance or I can make it actually I can totally change this drawing if I really wanted to at this point in time, because that's what the beauty of this, the beauty of this is that we can make changes, we can actually make it smaller or, or you know, because now I know my tail is not going to fit. And I didn't know. Yes. It's, it's so light I can barely see it. Yeah, that's why you want to draw lightly first. And uh, I'll, I'll draw this darker. Um, Can you put it in the chat? The the ch cat? Yes, I'll put the cat in the chat. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Thank you. A reference picture. Yeah, I forgot to do that. There we go. All right. So, yeah, let me, uh, I can draw this. So let me draw it again. I'm going to draw it. First, you got your circle. I'll draw it a little bit darker. I'm going to draw it a little smaller. Slightly smaller, just this, just this little bit of a difference. You're going to see uh, a difference. There it is. There's my circle. Because um, I want the tail to fit. And so there's my circle. Uh, my eraser. Where's my eraser? Right here. Let's erase this, so you don't get confused. I would usually leave it, and I would draw it lightly, so that would that would have not been a problem. I'm drawing darker right now. Less blue. So then the two sides, two, the body's two times the head. So here's the size of the head. I'm getting that measurement, bringing that down, one, uh, two, and that brings it to here now, right? So it's still the same angles, though. These angles actually don't change. Uh, they probably get going in a little bit closer. But um, angles, once you see angles, angles pretty much stay the same. Um, yeah. There we go. That looks good. So there's the bottom. The bottom's going to be here. Now I know that the, the tail is uh, it'll fit a little bit better. If it goes down there. The middle is going to be here. Here's the middle of this body. 
the middle of the body. There's the middle. Right there. That's the middle. The ears, let's get the ears in and actually fits better on my uh, my screen here. Watch the angles. The angle goes out and then comes in. These ears are pretty big. I think they're about half the size, again, half the size uh, of the head. They are exaggerated like the other cat. Uh, there's more space in between the ears on this one. So if the circle is a clock, uh, you have to think of it as a clock. You can see this ear over here on this side almost starts at one o'clock and goes out. And there's more curve to it, but um, then it comes down here at three o'clock. There's a little more curve, but I'm trying to keep it simple. Keep it simple. There it is. Those are the ears. And that's the structure. There we go. That's pretty much the structure. So let's get the tail in here. The tail. It's going to be there. And I can scribble it in real quick. Get that. And let's do the um, the legs or arms or whatever they are. Put it in like that. Something like that. There we go. Ta-da! Now the expression on the face, that's going to be the challenge. That's going to be the challenge on this drawing, getting that expression. So we're going to focus in. I'm going to zoom in. And it's that's the, the whole thing about focus. You need to know what you're focusing on. If you're focusing on shape, okay, that's what you're focusing Shape. And you're drawing shape and you're practicing shape. When we're not together, when we're not here doing this once a week, you should be doing this on your own. Practice. The more you practice, the more you progress. So you got to practice, practice, practice. Don't just practice once a week when we're here, if you can. If you can't, I mean, I understand. Uh, we're all busy. Uh, I want to do more too. It's like, oh my gosh, where does the time go? It's a time management. All right, so uh, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna block in my eyes, see where the height of the eyes are, um, and the bottom of the eyes. Very similar to the other one. Big eyes in the middle. Cats have these big eyes, so that's a big feature of this drawing. There is a little bit of an almond shape. Uh, I'm going to put the axis line here so you can see where they are in relation to each other and the center and the spacing. So this does go out very similar to the other cap. Okay. Ooh. Uh... Uh, oh, okay. Did I put it in the wrong? Yeah, no, there you go. Secure. What's that? Oh, okay. Somebody else put the picture in the chat. Whew. All right. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Let's do these eyes. So this eye, let's do the eye on the left. The eye on the left has, a, it's a, like an oval shape. It's like an oval shape, but the, the oval is um, slanted. There's a slight slant. So it's kind of like that. I wish I could, yeah, there we go. There's a slight slant to it. Uh, so if uh, we had an axis line, axis line would be like that. I'm gonna draw this axis line so you can see it, that axis line. And this other axis line would be like this. This is the minor. So this axis line, the ratios, the height compared to the width is not a perfect circle, but the minor axis minor and the axis major. There it is. And that's it right there. That oval. If you can get it, great. If you can't, it's okay. That's something to shoot for. It's what you're shooting for. And then the same thing on the other side. It's um, it's a little more uh, a little more height and width is more the same. Like it's not a, it's a one to one, but it does pull. So we do pull in on this side. See the side have more of a circle, but we're gonna pull it. Put a little uh, almond shape on this side right there. And then I'm probably just pull it slightly, but still keep it almost round, almost same height, same width. It's all round. <laughs> it's all round. But the ratio is what I meant. See, sometimes you say something, but you mean something else. You know what I mean. <laughs> Go get me the sugar. I mean the salt. You know what I mean. <laughs> 
All right. So there's there's the eyes. You can see they're different, right? And um, all right. Now we're going to put the eyebrow in there. He's kind of like, huh? What are you talking about? What's going on? This is great expression. It's got this little eyebrow that kind of pushes in on that right in there like that. Boom. So we have that shape. And then this shape just pushes in on it. Boom. Like that. That expression. Oh, this is next level. This is college level. My animation teacher would tell me, if you can get your characters to think and feel, <laughs> that's college level yeah getting your characters to think and feel and one of the reasons to draw is to tell story right you want to tell a story what's going on what's he looking at why has he got that face right what's the story that that's really motivating all right let's get the pupils in there pupils are closer to the center so you can see our axis line there in the middle uh the this pupil is going to be right in there right about there and then on this other one, this pupil is going to be right about there. It's also off center. It's closer to this middle. If so, if I were to draw a center line on that circle, it's it's uh, there on the inside of that middle, right? There's my eyes. I think I nailed them. They look pretty good. All right. I still need to get the shape of the head. Sometimes I do the shape of the head first. And then, um, and then the stuff, other stuff. But I really wanted to make sure I, I nailed the eyes. This nose is a little bit rounded, and it, the top part is darker. But it is like an oval. I'll draw the oval first, and then uh, the cartoon-wise, the top line is darker, and then it goes to light. Let's see, see that top part darker. Usually, it's the bottom. When you're doing lines, it's usually the bottom, and it has a really cool little mouth. Well, let me finish with. <laughs> my thinking usually the lines are thicker in the bottom to show shadow and and the thickness of a line but we're going to do the mouth simple simple just little line coming down like this i'm going to exaggerate just slightly so you can see but it's got like this oh what's going on that little shape there all right Whew, the hard part is done let me double check and looking back and forth it looks good now I'm going to add some form to this shape, this circle shape. Um, okay, I'll, I'll give you a second before I get into it because this, this is important. So um, finish up anything that you're doing. We can shade and do all that other stuff. There's all this detail in the ear. But I really want to get the shape of the head. The shape of the head uh, almost kind of comes straight down here on the side. It's like, boom, like a piece of clay. I have my clay here. Clay gets hit on the side and, and kind of flattens out. That's what's happening there. It flattens out a little bit and, and it pulls and the cheeks are also pulling out. The cheeks also pull out from our circle. So there it is. And then again, same thing on this side. There's an angle out and then a little bit more cheek. We're adding a little bit of cheek to that circle. So it's not a perfect circle, right? We're adding to that circle. Okay, we're just adding that little bit to that circle. Here's that chin. I can erase that my circle. There it is. Looking good, looking good. Bam. All right. Let's get the ears and then we can zoom out. All right. So uh, I think the eyes, the face looks pretty good. Let's get those ears. These ears do curve out a little bit. Uh, they curve out. See, I can make those adjustments. If you're getting it, great. If you're not, that's okay. What's important is the process and the practice. It's not about doing it perfectly. I mean, perfect practice makes progress. But it, the thing is, when you're first doing it, is just doing it. Just, just do it. Don't be afraid. Ah, that's a, another thing I came. Oh, I came across two great quotes today. Uh, let's share them. Oh, I was going to talk about cans. And confidence, growing your confidence, your confidence, because you know you can't, 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 can't. Oh, I'd have to go to my. I'll go after we do this drawing. I'll go to that. Yeah, growing your confidence. But there's a, a quote that I, I can't recall. I know where I put it though. I put it on my can page. My confidence. All right, I'll show that. Share that quote too. There's little tufts of hair. I'm kind of exaggerating. Um, they're not that big, but I, I added them. Just add a little bit of 
And let's see, here we go. So this other ear doing the outside and it is attached. So actually if it was erased, I would erase a little bit in there. And then we have this, and I didn't explain it too well, but um, there's the inside of the ear and then it's uh, furry. It's almost like a texture and just going back and forth. And then it's shaded inside. So I'm gonna shade it and bring it out. If you get the shading, great. If you don't, it's okay. This is what I call embellishment, or this is kind of like the shading. This is a more, I wouldn't worry about it until you know it and you can just do it without thinking about it. We won't talk about it today because I can't explain every stroke I do. All right, here we go. I'm trying to break it down. All right, let's do the whiskers. Uh, I, I like starting off with the middle whisker first. You know, the middle whiskers are straight out. That kind of, you know, helps. This one has a slight angle, but it's almost straight out. I'm putting it up a little bit. There we go. Watching your angles. And then the other whiskers, the other two whiskers. Well, there's one above and one below on each side. There we go. One above, one below. There you go. There it is. There's one there. And the other one over here. That helps. You can see the relationship. Wow. That looks really good. I can't wait to put the body on this one. There it is. All right, let's zoom out. There's the head. And there's the body. We got we got the, the structure, the space for it. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I have my structure here. I'm gonna just go off this left side. I'm gonna go out i'm gonna add a little bit of curves now just the little curves and you see those angles that are there just kind of help now i can just add that curve in there bring that in there that form and there it is boom see i added that form of feeling that mass making that shape solid even though we started with the angles look at looks like a guitar guitar body and the little feet in the back are kind of like underneath i can make it a little bit bigger and then the toesies come out, these arms. I think I'm, I'm just doing it. Why don't I go ahead? Why don't I do the, um? because usually one draw what's in front. Uh, actually, there's a process, foreground to background, background to foreground. I'm going to draw the foreground first here. So let's draw the arms, the front legs. I'm going to follow that, bring this down. There's a little curve right at the end, right at the end where that toe is. And then it comes up. And I think I'm doing it a little bit close together, a little closer than the actual drawing is. It comes up. There we go. Bam. What time is it? 8.45. Wow. 45 minutes, two cats. We'll take a break. And share out if you'd like to share out. And then we'll get a little more, a little, little more challenging drawings. Uh, let me see this other side. Also down at the top at the bottom, a little bit of a pull for those toes. Really simplified toes. And then bring it up. Bring it up to the torso. Let's bring this up a little higher. Oh, on this left side, I see a tuft. There's like a tuft on this left side. On the right, right side. On the right side of my drawing, the cat's left. I don't know where he went. No, the cat's the cat left side. There's this little tuft. All right, I'm going to draw it to two, two angles. There's this angle here and this angle there. These two angles, right? And there's there's roundedness and it's uh, texturized. These two angles. It it uh, brings that torso out. Uh, there's a little toughness of hair. Little toughness what is that <laughs> little hair texture all right i'm darkening my lines a little bit here on this side it does push in so it doesn't go along that symmetry this cat kind of we're going to pull this leg in oops fix my angle a little bit and then bring it down there it is And then the bottom 
because it's like resting on its back legs. So it's the simple, very simple shape, very simple. Don't have to worry about complex anatomy or anything like that. So this is, a, I mean, this is, that would be next level. All we need is the tail, the whale of a tail. The tail goes at the end, the detail. Detail goes last. All right, let me see. I try to get the flow of it down and attach. See, I did the sketching on top, and now I'm doing the drawing on top. The thickness, there is a little bit of taper. This is a bit of a challenge because you're looking at both. Uh, you're looking at a line when you're trying to draw it as it gets smaller and it comes in. So I didn't do a great job. <laughs> so I was trying to describe it while I was drawing it, but uh, it does taper. Try to get that taper. So it goes from thick to thin. So drawing the first line is easy. And then drawing the second line, that's actually a skill. When you're drawing bottles and drawing shapes and drawing form, you're almost looking at the other line while you're drawing this line and kind of judging the distance. There it is. Now, if you'd like to shade it, if you want to draw a cat, if you want to draw another cat, if you want to draw a mouse, there is a little bit of shade to it. Um, just shading really quick. And this is a good practice to shade and values and stuff like that. And it, it's going the other angle. But, um, you know, you can just see how quickly if you practice, you just get it to fill in. Uh, but this is uh, level three in value. Actually, level, yeah, level three is value. Level three in drawing. Level one, shape. Level two, form. Level three, value. Level zero is line, because line is everywhere. All right, cool. There it is. Meow. All right, we're done. 749. Let's, uh, if you'd like to share out, go ahead and share out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll share out. I'm going to draw a quick mouse, uh, a little mouse. <laughs> Actually, I had I, one of my paintings when I was in college. I did a cat like this, and then the mouse was on top. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's see if I can, uh, I'm going to draw like an egg shape right there like that. And then ears, and then the eye, and then uh, another ear, little mouse ear. So this is looking, and then we'll make a little mouse tail. Uh, not the greatest mouse, but there we go. Just real quick mouse. It's like, hey, looks like a pear shape. That's all good. <laughs> little eye, little beady eye. Yeah. Didn't get enough detail on there. But there you go. There's a story, quick story. It's like, hey, where's that mouse? <laughs> Adds a whole other dimension to your drawing. All right, there it is. Add story. All right, let's share out. Eladio, where did you uh, go to art school? I went to, um, I went to, oh, when I was going to high school, I went to, uh, actually, when I was going to middle school or junior high, I went to Cal State LA on, they would take us for enrichment. And then on Saturdays, I started going to Art Center um, on Saturdays. I think it was, yeah, and high, all through high school, actually, on Saturdays, I went to Saturday High. And uh, all they had is just doing is drawing from models. Um, and then I went to uh, my first year in college was Cal State Long Beach. And then I went to, <laughs> to Pasadena City my second year. And then I, and most of my training is really uh, the school of life on my own you know, just practicing and drawing and doing my own stuff. All right. If anybody would like to share out their cats before we get to the next uh, next hour, second hour, remove my spotlight. Just raise your hand. If you don't want to share, that's okay. Um, just see where you're at and you can see, uh, see what you did. Let's see if you get creative. This is where creativity, I added that mouse on top of the head. If you want to add other things to it, it's like, hey, where's my food? Ah, here we go. Oh, Jess, <laughs> back in the house. I haven't seen you in a while. There are you go. How are you doing? I got. Yeah, how are you? Good, good. Good to see you. It's been a while. I, I, I missed the class and I was feeling guilty for not coming in. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go back because I missed it. Yeah. I, got caught. I lost my other cat, but I did too. Oh, that's all good. There you go. Ah, you got the the mouse on the head too. <laughs> if I find the other cat, I'm gonna oh, that's all it good. Go. I'll, I'll raise my hand again if I find my other cat. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you for sharing. Good to see good you. Good to see you. 
All right. Uh, let's go with uh, Jane. Jane, what you got? All right. There you go. Oh, wow. What'd you color him with? Is, it, is that all um, pencil? Just with a 6B pencil. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Cool. Good. <laughs> and you got the little mug in the back, the other cat. Good. Yeah. Very nice. Super Thank cool. you. And you got, let me see. <laughs> perspective going on what's that on the other other page on your other page oh this is something i started um the chicago bean uh-huh oh okay oh super cool yeah i've been there seen it <laughs> yeah that's cool i think it's upside down love those curves yeah i know yeah so All i'm right. just trying to get my hand at it All right carl says nice work <laughs> priyanka says very nice thank you appreciate it oh, yes. All right, thank you for sharing. Let's go with the Carl. Carl, what you got? Hey, awesome beard. <laughs> I want to draw it. <laughs> got into. The... Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Uh, there you go. Sweet. So the first one. And nice sketch, but it's a little small. So... Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Go. Got yeah, it. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Super cool. You're welcome. All right, let's go with Seville. Seville. Thank you for sharing, Carl. First timer. All right, let's see. Uh, all right, here we go. Oh, oh, your camera. Something's going on. Me? Seville. Yeah. Am I? Yeah. We're going to go with, uh, yeah, we're going to go with Josh then, Joshua. Let's see what you got. And you got your drawing? in the dark there you go there you go black cat <laughs> here kitty kitty <laughs> sweet mm -hmm. all, right. all right shape great super cool i love the question mark like huh what's going on all right so yeah i gotta start studying form all right start studying form there's five basic forms so look at form look it up and, and um, there is some uh, video on form. So that's gonna help you get to the next level. So I'll start studying form. Uh, what is the, what was the can, oh, okay. The can do confidence quote. Thank you for sharing, Josh. Somebody's put something in the quote in the, in the um, good job, everyone. Our family really enjoyed learning to draw together. Oh, awesome, Ryan, good to hear. Uh, let's go, Peggy. All right, what you got? Thank you, Kelly and Carl. Sweet. Ramah, that looks like the, the cat, the, the clock cat. That, uh, a cat? But there's a clock cat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think my camera's not very good. It's a little blurry, but I can see it. Yeah. It, uh, stern cat. Looks really stern. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Super cool. All right. Thank you for sharing. All right, let's see. Uh, thank you for sharing, Peggy. Uh, anybody else? Oh, Jess, you got it? Found my first cat. Oh, your was, first cat, yeah. There he, you was, go. he was like, I don't know, on the floor, I think. <laughs> like the little mug there adds total story to it. I mean, just adding other elements. Yeah, I can see that like, hmm, am I gonna take a drink? Am I gonna? <laughs> Super cool. He looks suspicious. Yeah, yeah, he does. It reminds me that just that somebody else when they showed their yeah, that one just too that reminded me of the, the clock cat. I'll, I'll look it up right now. Watch. All right, uh, Peggy, I think you shared already, right, Peggy? I think you had your hand was up. All right, cool. All right, yeah. All right, all right. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Um, if you didn't share, that's all right. It's all good. It's all practice. It's not about the product which we're showing off. It's really about the practice and the and the process. That's the other p word. Process. It's about process. So cute, Peggy, Kelly wrote. All right, cool, let me share my screen. Uh, let's go, let's do this. All right, there's our cat. Uh, yeah, let me see, uh, cat clock. Let me do a quick look, cat clock. It's it's almost, uh, let me see, totally reminded me of the cat clock. Let's go to images, cat clock, cat clock. There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a little different, but for some reason I got that image in my head. That's the one, all right. Let's go with the next one. Ooh, we're gonna take on a challenge. Actually, this one's not too bad. We're gonna do that one. Uh, this cat, I don't know, we might skip it. We might skip it because uh, we're gonna go into faces. We're gonna be doing faces the second hour. We're gonna do this face and then we've got, uh, I know somebody suggested Koi. This is really good, actually. 
um, but there's a lot of detail, a lot of detail. But notice the way the artist, I can put this in the chat. Somebody recommended this, uh, uh, but there's a, a lot of detail. But notice the squares, and then you can see the squares inside the squares. This reminds me of uh, my paintings. I had, um, these are called orthographic views because you're looking straight at it. But you can see the shapes, and then you can see the relationships. So um, this would be really fun to draw if you see the squares, and I don't want to uh, draw on top of it, but you can see the square there, and then you can see the parts. Uh, I will put this in the chat, as if anybody wants it. Let me put that in the chat. Um, and this is my modern Met. Uh, where's the chat? Here we go. Paste that. So if you want to do this on your own, and there's all this watercolor stuff going on and, and a lot of really more complex stuff that we'd probably take on in a more advanced and the more intermediate to advanced class. Although it this can be done by um, beginners. I mean, just takes more patience, more time, more persistence, more observing. It's not that not that difficult. I mean, if we were drawing faces, faces have to be right spot on, spot on. Not spot on, but you know, closer to to uh, you know, or it's going to be off. This is a copy of a copy, but um, I think I don't know if we should we'll give it a go. Let's let's draw this turtle first before we <laughs> before anything else. All right, so we're going to be drawing this turtle. Uh, let's uh, see the big shapes first. Um, the biggest shape, I, well, I can see is like an oval shape. And that's that's what I really see. You really want to see the biggest shape. Ah, Christy has her hand up. So I don't know if you want to share something, uh, Christy, uh, before I, we start drawing this. Uh... Oh, my quote. Let's go to my quote. Let's go to my webpage. I don't know. I see Christy had her hands up. All right. So my 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 other webpage, Brain Tools, and uh, my confidence confidence quote, quote can can't. So you're really about believing, believing you can. If you can believe you can, if you believe you can't, you're going to be right. Uh, but you must, you must learn. You must learn to turn. So this is my quote. You must learn to turn. You can't until you can. The power of practice and effort. You must learn to turn your can'ts into cans. So you can turn your can cans into. So you can. So you can turn your cans into cash, or things of value. <laughs> I totally missed that one up. It's like, okay, you wrote this. Yeah, you must learn to turn your cans into cans so you can turn your cans into cash or things of value. Uh, because the more you know and the more you uh, can do, the more opportunities you have. And it's really building your skills. It's really about skills, uh, key beliefs. But the, the uh, yeah, there you go. I won't. I can't do it. I want to do it. How do I do it? I'll try to do it. I can do it. I will do it. Yes, I did it. And it's really going up those those steps, right? Uh, going up from shape to form. And that's where beginners are at, shape and form, really focusing on that and the seven elements of art. And then you go on to uh, another stuff. But all this stuff can be thrown out the window if you focus on your why. You know, it doesn't really even matter. All this stuff, color, space, you can, I mean, I've seen uh, like cartoons done with stick figures. And they have their purpose, you know. They you can you can laugh, right? You don't have to have a, a painting or a drawing of like uh, that's super real to 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 get a, your idea across. You don't. Um, those are just skills you can develop, but you can just use stick figures if you need to. If you have a why, like oh, I'm gonna tell this joke, right? And just use stick figures. All this stuff down here doesn't matter if your proportions are right. If you're uh, all that doesn't matter if you can communicate with stick figures, right? But then that's just line. Then you go to shape, form, value, texture, and then wrap. Wrap is in there. Wrap will be there next week or the week after. So I'll put it back in. I took it out. Uh, I added color. <laughs> All right, let's get out of that. All right, let's go to the quote I learned today. Can't, no doubt. Believe you can and you're halfway there. Only I can change my life. No one can do it for me. I can and I will watch me. And it's really, it's your, it's your um, mindset. If you can dream it, you can do it. Having that mindset. Oh, I love this knot prayer. Uh, dear God, please untie the knots that are in my mind, heart, and life. Remove the have-nots, the can-nots, the do-nots that I have in my mind, so on and so forth. Especially the thought that I am not good enough. You know. uh, the quote, though, is this one. This is the one I came across today. Don't let what you can't do 
interfere with what you can do. Oh, when I heard that, I was like, oh, I got to put that on my, my, my web page here. So don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can do. You got to focus on what you can do. And that actually brings us back over here. Doing line, line is automatic, right? Then you go to learning shape. If you can't do shapes, then just practice until you get it. And then you go to form. Can't do form, you practice to get it, but you can do shape. Don't let what you can't do um, affect what you can do, right? Because everybody can scribble, everybody can do lines. And then you move your way up to this top of the pyramid. And uh, that's it. All right, this is focus and phases. All right, hopefully that helps. All right, here we go. Enough, uh, enough squabble talking. Let's get to drawing why we're here. All right, not you, <laughs> Tyson. All right, let me see. Where is that? Oh, here we are. Uh, oh, there we go. We're drawing this cat. And I don't know if Christy still wanted to share. I'm going to copy the image address. There we go. Draw this. I have my cats. <laughs> there it is. All right. This, oh, okay. So let me break this down first. Let me break this down and then we'll get to drawing this. So uh, break this down. 33 of you hardcore heroes here for the second hour. Uh, we're going to start drawing things a little I more challenging. Them. I don't see in the chat, though. Sorry. You don't I, see what? I don't the, see oh. in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry about that. All right. So um, if I can see this, the biggest shape I can see is this, uh, the height and the width of the whole thing, right? The height and the width of, uh, of this turtle. Um, and if we really, let me see if I push that that much. It's almost uh, one by two. So this is good to know because that's I, I, I need to make that space on my paper, one by two. So we're looking at ratios. How, and uh, there's one circle, there it is right there. Oh, and it's almost, uh, it's a little bit less than two. That's how I'll probably even say it's one and a half. One by one and a half. Well, it's a little, it's a, actually the circle should be a little bigger. Yeah, probably one and a half. There we go. There's one, and then bring it over. Uh, yeah, probably one and a half. Uh, a little bit more than one and a half. All right, but the ones, the shapes that are going to actually be really useful are probably. Uh, I lost the ratio. This circle shape right there. Look at the body. There's one shape, the body, and then there's the head. And the head's smaller than the body. The body is bigger. Then you have the, the legs coming off of it. It's a little more complex, a little more complex. Try to see the complexity, the relationships. You've got that circle shape and then it's cut off. It's actually a half a sphere in the head and then the, the legs. All right, I think uh, that's, that's enough, <laughs> enough talking. Let's just go ahead and draw it. All right, let's just do it. I think everybody, if you want to screenshot it, I can see how big the head is compared to the body or the relationship here. See the middle here? All right, let's do that. We'll start off with the body and then we'll go with the head. All right, I think I got my approach. Let's do this. All right. Hello, hello, hello. I wasn't ready for my close up. <laughs> there we go. My cats. There we go. Right in here. I think, are we upside down? Yes. There we go. All right. Let me spotlight me and spotlight myself. All right. Great night tonight. No bombers tonight. That's awesome. Actually, I don't know. I, I do have a, I, I, I don't know if I cringe or I feel a little bit like, oh, un unease when it happens. But it's all good. I'm getting better at handling it. But none tonight. None last week. I think, no, I think we maybe one person kind of, but we knocked him out. Papa's gonna knock you out. All right, here I've got my spotlight ready to rock and roll. Here we go. We're gonna use, uh, let's use another colored pencil or I should use a pen. Just grab, oh, here's a pencil. Now we're gonna go with this pencil. All right, so we're gonna draw a circle. The circle's for the body. There's the body. The bodies are right about there. And then we're going to, um, let's see, where are we at? Yeah, there's my circle body and then we got the head the head is is in relationship to the body 
is above the center. So here's our center. And then here's the head. The head's going to be right about there. You want to look at the relationship of the, these two, how big the body is compared to the, to the head. And this is proportions. I'm eyeballing it, but I don't know. It's a bigger than half the size of the body. I am eyeballing it. Another thing to do, too, is, is, is look at these angles. Look at the top of, uh, of, uh, of this circle and that angle there. And that'll help, that helps triangulate triangulate uh, the body, the, the relationship, right? From the top of the, the turtle shell to the top of the head and that. All right, so those are our two circles. Now, if you blow things out of proportion, the head might be too big, the body compared to the body. And if you get that, that's okay. You know where your wall is. You know where you're struggling. You're struggling with proportions. And that's why I came up with wrap to help you understand, to see the wall. So, okay, I'm struggling with shapes, okay? And then you just practice shapes. Oh, I'm struggling with form. You practice form, right? Uh, you practice drawing form, but you want to practice drawing shapes first, right? Get your shapes, because this is form now. We're talking about form. Uh, there's, uh, let's block the rest of it in. All right, so um, the, the turtle, turtleneck kind of comes in here. Actually, it, it um, let's break this in half. Yeah, there's a little bit of a curve here this curve here like that boom that curve and it does wrap around it does wrap around this form now you're going to struggle with this if you, you haven't drawn form this is uh actually a um half a sphere half a sphere and it's wrapping itself around it but a sphere is the easiest one to draw because it really is just a circle um, but it's the hardest one to kind of like uh, shade or hardest to kind of like get the feel of. But it's it's just a circle. And this is cut. There's a cut in it. And that thickness, uh, this rib, um, the shell. Rib? Rib? What is this? I'm calling it a rib. Uh, rim. Rim. Sorry. E English is my second language. Probably my third, um, uh, Spanish or visual, <laughs> the visual language. All right, so I, I kind of cut that circle there. I'm going to go ahead and attach the feet. The feet kind of, um, and this is the hard part, I guess. This is this uh, getting that shell shape and the feel of, of this rim, the way it kind of attaches around itself right in there. Was there a question or something? Feel throw, free to throw something in the chat. If I'm going too fast or if you don't understand or can I explain it again, draw it again, I'll do that. All right, so these feet, um, actually I can, I don't know, there's a couple ways I would do it. Uh, I can actually see the feet as a, as a foot right, right about in there, I, blocking it in. Uh, another one right about there, blocking that in, just saying, okay, this is where my foot's kind of kind of go. And then the other foot is going to go right about there. And the third one's in the background, but it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, so we got to move in mysterious ways here. There we go. All right. It's all right. So here's the neck of the turtle attaching itself right in there. And then there's overlapping here. This is how artists create space, the overlap. That turtle neck comes up. And then I'm gonna probably bring the shell up and over a little bit more. So there's more overlapping right in there. It's probably stretching it out. You might wanna make it bigger. All right, so I'm gonna focus on the head. I'll zoom in on it and then I'll, I'll draw the rest of it. So let's zoom in on the head so we can see what's going on here. Oh, actually, that's probably a good size to, for the whole drawing. If I need to move back, I'll move back there. Let's zoom in one more right in there. So there's the head. All right. So on this side is the eye. There's a round eye right in there. Right in there. There's an eye. About there. Let's go a little bigger. See, I can add to it. See, I got my first eye. I didn't like it. And go a little bigger. <laughs> and I had my blade, but I went to go to, uh, whoa, what's going on? 
That's the citizen app. Now it's not a perfect circle. There are little, you know, and you'll get that over time. I mean, if you draw a perfect circle, you're gonna you're halfway there. Because then afterwards you can sh give it a little bit of shape, like there's a little bit of, of a ding in it. And there's that. There's that circle. It's right about there. Um, and then there's the. Uh, it's got some big eyes. Right in there. This is an oval shape. An oval shape. You'll see this shape a lot when you're. Um, and that kind of shape is here, but there's a curve in it, which is, makes it more complex. You'll see that shape a lot <clears throat> as circles turn in space. So there's that one. Um, let's get this side of the cheek. That side of the cheek. And then there's the neck. And there's all these little wrinkles. As the neck, oh, there's this really cool wrinkle right in here, right about there. It's this uh, fold. Actually, it's a fold, that little kind of like the upside down V. And then we'll attach it to the body right in there. It's a little wrinkle. The fold. All right, that looks good. All right. I'm going to do the top of the head right in here, right there. And this curves out. And then down. And then from here, I have the mouth. There's a little bit of a cheek curl, whatever that's called. And then it curves up and then down at the tip. There it is. Ta da! I like that. And I, I had my, uh, my sketch underneath to help give me form. We're going to do the bottom chin. Attach that right in there. Again, this one's a little more challenging than the um, than the cats. And I get suggestions for like really challenging drawings, and it's like, well, they're 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 a little harder to. Um, there's a lot of describing that needs to happen. I would be talking a lot. <laughs> All right, so I, I'm. Um, adding this and again this taper so as I draw this I'm looking at this shape in here this form as I'm drawing this line I'm looking at this the, the thickness of the neck making sure I'm getting that thickness and that feel just right I'm going to go ahead and draw the other eye on this other side it's a little higher and it's rounded again as well so it goes out like that and it's attached and these are spheres these are spheres right if they're form if it's shape they're circles if it's form they're spheres i'm going to go ahead and draw that uh, roundedness right in there and then the two little nostrils we're almost there with the face anyways why don't we go ahead and i think um yeah let's just finish it let's just finish the face all right so there's two parts to this eye more but the two main parts you have a highlight which is right there that's the highlight that's that little circle that's a highlight and then there's the pupil the dark part which goes underneath the highlight making it round the pupil i'm uh, making it oval you want to try to get that oval and go underneath that highlight without getting rid of it All right and then the last part is to shade the iris the iris is just a little bit lighter. This is value, shading it just a little lighter, not as dark as the pupil. And that makes that highlight pop and makes it look shiny. Look at that. Wow. All of a sudden we got shine. A little bit of shading on this side of the eye, making it round. If you get the shading, if you get it, great. If you don't, that's okay. Because that's just the, that's, <laughs> that's the icing on the cake. You don't have to, what's more important is the cake and getting the ingredients right. Because if it doesn't taste right and it looks nice, I mean, it can look nice, but, you know, the structure, the integrity is off. All right, let's do the other eye. Same thing. Try to get that highlight in that same spot. And then um, we can actually shade everything else. And then add 
the pupil. I kind of did it. I changed the order. I changed the process. It still works. We'll try it that way too. All right. I like the I like that face. A face only a mother can love. That's <laughs> my for. I've got a face for radio. All right, so here we go. There is there is a little bit of shadow right underneath here, right under here. There's a little bit of, um, and there's like really sketchy lines, but I'm just going to shade it as a shape. I'm going to simplify is that, that texture and all that stuff. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to shade it, simplify it. There it is. All right, let's zoom back one. Bam. I think, I think there it is. Let's get the turtle in there. Ah, here's another quote. Actually, this is my quote. They say slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady does not win the race. Slow and steady does not win the race. Slow and steady wins the game. But to win the race, you have to be fast and steady, right? So you got to know what game you're playing, right? That's really important. Uh, I used to, I, and I still believe slow and steady wins the game. I really do. I, and that was one of my things. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to learn. It really doesn't matter. Slow and steady wins the game, um, not the race. If it's a race, you got to be fast and steady. Um, but really the, the game, and it depends on what the game is, right? What's the game? The game of life, the game of whatever you want to call it, knowing the rules, knowing how things work. And that's my, my, my enlightenment, because I was telling a student, because I totally, totally believe that uh, slow and steady wins the race. I used to believe that. And then, uh, <laughs> then I seen some races and I'm like, wait a minute, even some marathons. I'm like, what? Some of these people doing marathons in like two hours or three hours. I don't know what the records are, but they're really fast. I'm like, okay, no, it's not slow and steady wins the race. If it's a marathon, even marathons, you gotta, I don't know, but the game, the game, the game. All right. The game of drawing, playing the long game. All right, here we go. Uh, there's a circle right in here, one of the shell designs. I'm seeing how it fits in there, all the little decorations. We got the structure. We're just decorating it. And there's there's more to it, but um, I'm just going to put them in. I'm not going to describe it. Just putting these shapes in. They're in there, how they fit. So this is uh, that circle one, this shape here, this shape over here. And then the shape over here, the shell designs. Jesse Shell, Jesse Shell. There was an awesome talk he did. He has a shell games, Jesse Shell, but they took it off the internet. He's a visionary a person talking about points and things that I see, and I'm like, it's amazing. And they had a really cool talk. It talks about ignorance is a choice. Ignorance is a choice. If you don't know, now you can just ask and look it up. And that's what learning is, really. Asking questions, being curious. How does this work? What is that? If you want to build robots, now we have Google. We can know how far the moon is. Okay, Google, how far is the moon? The moon is about 238,900 miles from Earth. Jeez. You can ask anything. I mean, it's being curious and asking questions. And how do you do this? How do you do that? And the how or, or the what will add to your why. All right. So I'm adding the little um, notice the overlapping. Actually, I'm just doing it without explaining. Sorry. This is intermediate now. <laughs> All right. And here, these little bumps. And try to get them on there, onto that that sphere. Actually, yeah, the half half a half a lump, half a dome. Yeah, because that's all it really is. This dome is. Let me see if I were to create really quickly out of my clay. Bam! There it is. See, it's a sphere, and then if I push it, uh, so push it into half a dome. Dome. Oh, the fire's up in Yosemite. Sad. Uh, it is half a dome, but then it, it curves. There's a cur curve to it, right? So there's a curve to it. And it goes down. Up. And if I were to, ooh, look, watch this. 
really quickly how to click. The head's smaller, but it, it comes out like that. There we go. Let's see. And this is understanding form, right? You have the head. The head's bigger, proportion-wise. But uh, you can see how really quickly understanding form and turning this around. Ta-da. All right, let's finish this up. There's a little texture here and there. I don't know, little scribbles. And that's a good way to add texture, scribble. That's the uh, next level. Actually, that's a book value. There's like texture in here, the scribble. All right. I'm pretty happy with the shell. Um, let's uh, add these little rounded parts. These little rounded parts go around the rim. Now, this rim, all it is is just, uh, I mean, if I were to get my clay, roll it into a, a little thing here. That's all this rim is right in here. See, that rim is just like that. That's what that is. And then um, it goes around the rim. So these little circle shapes kind of going around, around that. And here, this is form. This is form, right? Study the forms, draw the forms, three-dimensional form. And really, this is just like, I mean, if I were to draw a circle, that's what that is. Right in there, you can see the circle, half a circle. Erase, erase. Half a circle, but you got to, and you got to practice drawing from observing. Really, to get something like this, you got to practice drawing from observing, because here's where the circles change direction. The circles actually start turning this way, which tells me this is where the eye eye is. Your point of view. Your person standing right here, because the, they start shifting in the other direction. All right, let's get the legs on. Start with, let's go left to right. Let's add this back leg here. Uh, I'm going to start right here, right? This back part, I'm going to go and then attach this. And I'm just drawing it freehand. I can break this into some, I can break this. I can break this into, um, I'll do the, the next one. I'll break it into, um, because I just I just freehanded it. I just did it. I'll break it. I'll explain it a little better in the next one. Let me just draw the tail. <laughs> the tail, even detail goes last, but here we go. It's a triangle, but it's a curved triangle. Ooh, it was a full moon this week. And this is like a crescent moon. There's there's the tail. All right, so let me break this down. So, uh, and I could have done it over here. Uh, there's the the foot. And then um, it, all it is is just drawing little circles where the toes go. There's one toe here, another toe there, another toe here, and another toe there. Sometimes you have to do this when you're first learning, right? When you're first learning. And, and this one, I just did it. I just did it because of practice and experience and, and just doing it. You can skip steps, but you kind of have to almost go through this phase of construction and seeing how it's constructed, right? Because that's all it is. It's a circle with little circles on it. Now let's uh, put it all together. Let's put it all together. Here we go. And there's a little bit of overlap on that one. So this comes out like that. Notice how I did that. And here we go. Boom. Bam. And this curves up like that and then this one curves around and then this a little bit of overlap again it's one of the ways artists create space and that's what makes this drawing a little more challenging right there's these little things that uh like oh, i want to draw that but how <laughs> the question is how learning to break it into parts learning to see form that's what makes this one a little more challenging but there it is the cat was easier. All right, 826. Let's keep it going. There's a little bit of another. Oh, actually, you know what? There's a little bit of the bottom shell under here going on here. So I'm going to add a little bit of a thickness to it. That's uh, the bottom of that shell, bringing it up, up in here like that. There we go. Right in there like that. And I'll go ahead and shade it just because I can. 
I usually save this for last. If you want shade, say, um, if I'm going too fast, save the shading for last. Save the color and come back to it, color it, shade it, draw it again. You know, it's really about the practice. I mean, we're just practicing here. Try drawing it again, try to draw it from memory. There's a little bit of a toe sticking out on here, the back toe, that little back toe. Uh, it looks like a number five it comes down and around. See, like that five, see that five right in there? Johnny Five is alive. And shade it all in a little bit darker. There it is. All right, let's do the other toe. The last leg. We're on the last leg of this race. <laughs> the turtle race. Here we go. Slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the game. All right, so this leg comes out. Notice how it's attaching. This one is attaching. Getting that feel. These two lines, how they taper. It tapers. It gets wider as it goes out. Right? I'm actually capturing that shape or form. There's a toe here. A toe there, a point there, and then two more. There's one right there, one right about there, right? And I sketched it in real quick. Now, now I need to just go around it. All right, here we go. I'll take a look at the chat, see if anybody's thrown anything in there. I do take suggestions. I do take... Kind of, there we go. Damn. Yeah. There it is. And there's shadows in here. A little bit of shadow under this leg right there. There's a lot more scribbly. I tend to tighten up my shading. My drawing is really tight. Sometimes I've got to loosen up, loosen up, like really loosen up. And that's important in your drawing. Don't tighten up so much sometimes, especially when you're sketching. Just do, do it really fast. I mean, we spend a lot of time. <clears throat> but you should be able to do quick sketches. You know, don't just spend you know a lot of time on one drawing and oh, think of it as precious. You know, my precious. No, you gotta just you know do a bunch. You know, it's really about the practice. It really is. Sometimes we, uh, I know I did. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I uh, I treated my drawings too preciously. It was like, oh, and then I would like, oh, if I wouldn't get it right, I'd be like, oh, you just gotta let it go. Things aren't things don't always turn up. And I had to learn that. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to add a little bit of a shadow. I think finish this up. There is a dark occlusion. It's called an occlusion. This is the occlusion because it's uh, the light is occluded right in here. These spots, right in there. It's not really in shadow. It's it's uh, an occlusion. And then you got the shadow that kind of comes out uh, underneath right in here. Just and it helps so it's, your turtle's not floating. Just add a quick shadow in here. Just Scribble it in back and forth. Right in there. Yelena, we miss you. Uh, she told me she wasn't going to make it. That's fine. Having fun in Florida. All right, here we go. A little more shadow on the side. And I'm, I'm putting it a little bit darker and I can blend it in. And if I wanted to shade the head, I can shade the head a little bit, give it a little more form. Shade this bottom part. Yeah, but uh, I see this turtle a lot. Actually, I've I've looked for turtles, and I see this turtle. All right, ta-da! Amen to that quote. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm seeing a turtle. <laughs> turtle, turtle, turtleneck. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What are we gonna do next? Oh, we're gonna draw faces. This one's. I don't know. I I, I hesitate to draw this one. A little bit, but um, this is uh, from a cartoon mastermind, or what is this guy? This is uh, from a uh, 3D animation. Ma yeah, I think it is mastermind. Let me see. Mastermind. Mastermind game animation. There he is. Yeah. Oh, he's got even a bigger head. <laughs> Mega mind. That's what it is. Mega mind, not mastermind. Mega mind. Oh yeah, proportion wise, yeah. See, this is the original. Mega mind. Images. Ah, there it is. Oh yeah, and I can see. Wow. Look at, oh man, look at the difference. They probably used this one too. Uh, yeah, I can tell they did. 
And you can see their proportions are off. And this is what I don't like drawing from a drawing. It's like it's like a copy and a copy. You can start getting degradation. But yeah, this is definitely this one right here. And you'll see the difference. We'll compare and contrast. Copy image address. Post, paste. Oh, so you can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, let's zoom in. All right, I'm going to share my screen now. Hopefully you got your turtle. Look at my turtle. Look at your turtle. Look back and forth. You want to be looking back and forth. I mean, it's good to have a drawing. It's not, you know, you're drawing like next to each other. The best way to do it is to copy like with your picture right next to it, right? And you can actually hold it, your picture right next to your drawing and, and make those comparisons, how big it is to the other, especially when you're learning, first learning, right? So, I mean, that's one con of what we're doing here. There's pros and cons. Uh, we might, uh, I don't know, maybe next summer. I don't know. Well, the weather starts. I'm thinking of doing a in-person drawing. So if you live in the Southern California area, I'm thinking of maybe doing something. Tortuga. <laughs> something live. That way it can help you a lot, a little better. Actually, if we draw live. There are live events. Actually, there's this one guy's son. He's in my class here. But he's doing his own. He's been doing his own meetup just as long. I'm like, what? I got to meet up with him, speaking of. I don't know if he's here, uh, but probably not. He just joined. Let's see. Ah, share my screen. Stop talking. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you guys were looking at my turtle. Turtle, turtle. So this is the original. And then here's the uh, copy, right? It's really good. It's really good. I mean, you can see the expression, but the proportions, um, the head is definitely a lot bigger, right? Especially, yeah, you can see it there. That expression, the nose is at an angle, right? The ears, notice the ears, where the ears are at. And the eyes, the bottom of the eyes, the ears are above the center of the eye. So we look for these relationships. You can see they did not. And that's okay. It's not a big deal. This is not a big deal. If you're shooting for accuracy, then it is. But if it's not, you can tell. I can tell, tell who it was. Mega mind. And there he is, right? But the proportions wise, and uh, it is around the height and the width. I don't know if we should do it or not. Whew. All right, 834. Let's see. I did have some other suggestions. Uh, so where are the other suggestions? Here they are. Uh, and faces, right? So there are suggestions. And here you can see the structure, and this is form already. This is form. So this is advanced. Um, this is definitely advanced. I don't know. Yeah, these three different faces. This face is at an angle. We should we should go ahead and do this uh, today. This would be more like for next week. I can actually simplify this. This is a, a three-quarter view, three-quarter view with an angle. These are all three-quarter views. But you can see how they broke it down. You can see the structure. And Meadow added this. Let a meadow, let's see, is she here? All right, so we're trying to decide what we're going to do next. 27 people. Oof, I'm getting a little warm here. All right, let's do one. I'm actually, we should give it a go. We should give it a go. We should give it a go. I think we're going to do this one here. Why not? Let's do this face. You can see the structure here, and it's starting off with a sphere. You see, it starts off with a sphere, and then it's added. it adds on the shield, the shield kind of thing with a face. And it is kind of like a face shield. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. She did add uh, other pictures, but it's just the, the, the structure. All right, it doesn't have uh, both parts. Oh, this is interesting. You can see underneath. Drawings underneath. Yeah, underneath you can see this face. Look at that. Huh, that's interesting. Let's go back over there. There it is. The oh, there's the face right there. I can see it now. Ha, huh, funny. It's a little bit funny. Here we go. This feeling inside. One of those who can easily No. All right, so that's actually, so uh, we're using shapes. Now they're using form, right? So form is the next level here, but I can't zoom out, zoom in, try to focus in on this girl. 
I'm going to try to break her down and uh, using form and, and uh, see what we see, actually. All right, so let's break her down. We're going to use, uh, there we've got something in the chat. Need to drop out. Thanks for another fun class. You're welcome, Priyanka. Uh, thank you a lot. Fantastic class. I just drove back from Vegas and have a long day tomorrow. Looking forward to next Thursday. All right, and Francois. All right, cool. 836 people conking out. All right, so I guess, uh, yeah, I know. Oof. We're gonna, we're gonna just draw this one face and then we'll, this is a little more advanced. So if you're, you know, moving on, that's fine. If you're a beginner and you're taking on this challenge, go for it. It's all good. It's a, you know, it's all good. It's all Mario, good. can you put it in the chat? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And I again, I heard your voice I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me though. All right, here it is. Boom. There it is. All right, before I start breaking it down. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I need to get into that flow. Get into the flow. All right, so let me see the shapes. Annotate, here we go. Yeah, so, you know, you really want to do see the sphere and it's uh, the, the head and um, or the shape. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I am going to, because like I do miss a lot of stuff. I do want to create one video where I just really point everything out and say, okay, this is what we're looking for. This is what we're doing. And so I make sure I'm not missing anything and get one really good video. And then now all this other stuff is just, you know, boom, you know, just uh, icing. And if I miss anything, you got it in the one main video. Like this is like already more advanced. And this is actually like an oval in here where the temple is actually temple let me see let me move this and i can't uh, turn that i would turn that if i could because it's not exactly straight up and down like this but it's where this temple is and, it, and what it is is really it's getting this the, the sphere and we're slicing into it uh, this is um this was actually created by uh this model uh, or this way of seeing things was created by Bloom. Bloom is it Bloom? Uh, I can't remember. No, almost had it. Uh, my brain is conking out. What's his name? Yeah, there's there's an artist that that did this. I do have his books and stuff. Uh, Got to get all those things together. Anyways, uh, so this comes out from here and then comes down there. This is like a face shield that's kind of attached to this um the cheek attached to the sphere right so you have the sphere this is not a circle it's more than a circle it's a sphere and then it's with a slice in it and then you have all the, these other other angles that are right there and then you can see the mouth whole lips the nose right in there the eyes, there's a slight angle. Notice that angle. And then the angle of the nose. Well, give it a go. I, this is not easy. So um, I'll try to simplify as much as I can. <clears throat> a thing to look at is the ear as well, just like we did with the mastermind. So you can see where the ear is, the top of the ear. That's uh, right where the eye is. The bottom of the ear is where the, the lip is. One thing to note is the spacing. The spacing, uh, everybody always gets wrong because there's nothing here. But there's a space that's right in here, the space that's uh, in there. A lot of times, even myself, uh, get this, uh, squeeze this space in, not enough. Right, so let me clear all this stuff up a little bit and then uh, show that space and what we should be looking for. Um, let's do a different color. I've been doing this color for quite a while. So we got this color. Here we go. There we go. Oh, that, not a big difference. Try that blue. There we go. Yeah. So right where this jaw is, you can see that jaw. Actually, that's, that's a better line, and then that line there. Now, um, usually it's the center of the eye. You can see that center of the eye coming down, right where that shape is, and see if we can get that shape. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's nice right there. That shape actually will help. If you can draw that shape, that shape is going to help a lot. And if I put a little bit of a thing to that there. Yeah. 
I'm trying to flatten it out. Yeah, so the, if you look at polygon, there's a polygon person. <clears throat> so this is intermediate and more advanced, but um, I wish I had that video. I can point it out. Oops, I stopped sharing. I can point it out and say, hey, that's what you're looking for. Let's look, let's look it up here. So it's polygon, polygon base. Hey, there it is. Uh, let's look at images. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. Polygon. That's not exactly what I want. Whoa, where's all my polygon faces? Polygon. Huh. Oh. I think was... this is a Facebook. Oh, yeah, it did. <laughs> Where did Facebook come from? There it is. Polygon face. There we go. This face, look at that. Look at the polygons. That's going to help. There's a one There's a one in particular. There, this one, this model. And it has values on it and stuff. <laughs> Thank you for noting this. See, I missed you. <laughs> oh, <I'm happy. laughs> there you go. Me too. I know. I was thinking, I'm like, oh, man. we. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, like Jess could be looking that up. <laughs> oh, look at this one with the polygons. That monkey face. That's cool. Look at these triangles. That's pretty cool. And this one too, that was broken down. Oh, there's an artist that does it. And this one, I might be the artist. I think it is. Uh, Polyface. There's an artist that does that. His work is amazing. Domestica. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, it has his name here. Cookies. I like cookies. Andres Matas. Has, yeah, I think he did um, uh, the basketball player. What's his name? I digress. All right, so we're going to need to draw faces. I'm just uh, art images. That's, yeah, but looking at the polygons, that really helps. He did, did one of um, Kobe. Oh, yeah, this one too. Very similar to that, just using polygons. You can tell who that is, which is pretty crazy. Woody. All right, let's just do this. Let's just do it. All right, let's just do it. I think I, did I put it in the chat? I don't know if I did. Let me see, there it is. I copied it, copied again, put it in the chat. There's something in the chat already. Got to go. See you next time. All right. This is going to be our last drawing. We'll draw this really quick. Oh, it goes to everyone. There it is. We'll be drawing this girl. But mostly it's the structure. That's what's important is the structure. Oh, I didn't compare my structure to the. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Um, so there it is. Actually, we got pretty good. Um, I think that's the eyebrow up here, the top of the eyebrow, the nose being marked off. Huh, it's pretty good. All right, well, let's do it. So if it doesn't look like her, that's OK. What's important is the practice and the process. The process, that's important. And uh, here we go. All right. So first thing we're going to draw is the circle, the sphere. Let's do our blue. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Circle. Try to draw. Practice drawing a circle. So sketch it out. There's our circle. Bam. And here's our, um, we're going to cut that circle. Cut an oval out of it. Uh, right about there. Cut that oval out. Loomis, that's who it is. Loomis, the Loomis head. I got my quotes. This is the Loomis head. This is what this is, the Loomis head. Then you got the center coming down this way. Yeah, see, is she here? Meadow, are you here? <laughs> You're giving us these hard drawings. This should be for next week. But that's all good. We got, we got uh, good stuff for the, the beginners. There we go. All right, so now this is the center of the um, the face, the center of the face, kind of coming down like that. And I'm actually copying. <laughs> I'm not even looking at my drawing. I'm just copying the um, the drawing that they have, the Loomis face. So this is the um, the shield, kind of like. So we have our sphere, and then on top of this. 
is the shield. And that shield. Notice how it's smaller here and then wider here. The nose is going to be right about there, right where that intersects that line. Noticing this size right here, this this uh, this shape, the angles how far it comes out from our sphere. So we have this, and this is what I would do actually before. I would look at this shape, this egg shape. This almost looks like a pear. This pear shape here, this pear shape. I would look at that pear shape. But seeing the circle as well kind of helps. Um, so it is there. But this pear, pear shape actually is good. Seeing this, uh, it looks more like an, a water drop water drop shape if I look at it like that all right here we go got the placement of the nose the placement of the mouth a little bit above center right about there and um let's let's do this all right okay cool. all right oh okay the top the eyebrows at an angle, right in there. The eyes are gonna go right in here. Then the ear is gonna be back here. The ear is uh, usually right about there. Okay, so we have our, our um, framework. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's change, let's do, use this pencil here. Let's continue with this. All right, so I'm going to put in the nose. I'm going to put in the nose right in here. The nose, uh, I'm going to cut in, and I can see where it's going to go right here. See, I actually, I can do this like two shapes. There and there, these two lines, I'm sorry, these two angles, this angle, that angle. Now there's a lot more going on, but if you get those two angles, that really helps. There is a roundedness to the nose, a little bit of a roundedness, that bulb, bulb part kind of goes in there like that. See, I rounded it right there and I pushed it out just slightly. And that would go with um, drawing faces and drawing and really focusing on detail. You really, I mean, it really comes down to practice. Um, drawing noses for a while, just draw like draw a hundred noses, different kinds of noses. Just focus on the nose. I'm like, I'm like, not describing a lot of stuff. It's late. Maybe next week we can really slow down and draw these parts. And how they all fit and then not do this three-quarter view this is a three-quarter view that's like more challenging so if you're new meadow <laughs> you challenge me to i don't know how else i can break this down even more you know i'm already shading doing shades and stuff all right there's a little bit of a pretty big lips so that lip actually starts right up here, the top of the lip, and then it droops down. There we go. I was watching this thing on the Mona Lisa. Really interesting. I'm like, oh my God, I relate to Da Vinci a lot more now. I always liked him, but he was actually not, he didn't finish a lot of his work. <laughs> oh my God. He didn't finish a lot of his work, his paintings. It took him, I don't know how many years to do the Mona Lisa. He was a perfectionist, is what he was. And and not even, uh, he wasn't even that famous uh, during, well, he was, he was known, but he's more famous now or more revered. But he didn't get a lot of things finished. He had a lot of designs for great inventions, but never built them, never I don't know, something held them back. All right, so there's a couple parts to the lips. We can spend all day just drawing lips and talking about lips, but um, 
and that's that's how I can just like okay but uh my batteries are giving out <laughs> and the the, the and shading this and let me zoom in because I'm just doing it with shapes uh, the top is probably a little more and even shading it there's a a little bit of a reflected light right there. Let me shade it a little bit slightly. Noticing how big the lips are. It's like right there, a little bit of a reflected light when I shaded it. When I shaded it, I kind of kept that bottom. Then here we go, that bottom lip. I'm going to shade the bottom. And let's draw this out right there. And then, ooh, and then there's a little bit of a gap. There's a little bit of a gap, and then the chin, chin the, it goes back. So it really has some full lips. I'm going to go ahead and, um, there, right there. Let me zoom out a little bit now, and if you want to draw that. Yeah, really understanding that the structure of the nose, the parts, really helps. I mean, it. When it all comes together, this is probably yeah. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, the eyes. The eyes. There's one eye that's going to go right in here. I'm going to block everything in. There's an eye that's going to go right in here. The other eye is going to go over here. And I'm looking at the spacing. I'm looking at a lot of different things when I do my placement. I mean, you know. And this is just practice. So if your face doesn't look right, that's okay. That's okay. You got to get the bad drawings out. And this was probably the simpler one. The other ones, there's have more of an angle and a little more tougher to do. So I'm getting the placement of the eye, that how big it goes and where it goes. Eyebrow a little bit higher. Then making sure I get my spacing here for the where the ear goes. Probably bring it in slightly. This these two angles right in there. Oh, I'm gonna curve it just a little bit that edge, and then she's got the chin, comes in, curves out. Yeah, faces are tough because if you're off a little bit, it's awful. Oh, it's off. Then the cheek cheek curves out. Oops. Uh, to the cheekbone and then goes in. So go up and then in. Goes up in the eye. The eye socket goes out. And then the forehead goes up. Oh. Let me zoom out. There we go. That's better. There we go. All right, let's get this eye in there. Um, I'm just going to draw the the eyelid. That eyelid that goes up and over like that. There is a thickness to it, and notice how it fits in there. You got to notice how that fits in there. Then there's the bottom eyelid. Messing it up. Let me get this pen. I have this juicy pen here. Here we go. This is it. I can fix it. The pen curve. It goes in and curves up. And it's, I'm drawing it's too small, really. Honestly, I think I drew too small. And I see I'm adding this. Uh, there we go. A little more detail. There's this thickness to this eyelash. Now here's this eye here. There's an oval shape and it's underneath. This oval shape is underneath like that. And then there's the eye pupil. And uh, I'm not doing a great job, I think, of explaining it. But the drawing is looking good. <laughs> it's just the explaining. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so much to it. But yeah, there's too advanced. Hopefully you get it. If not, it's okay. I mean, it's like, you know, you want to shoot for the moon. 
So even if you miss, you'll be amongst the stars, so they say. I mean, but I missed the moon. I was aiming for the moon. Yeah, but look where you're at. Look what you're doing, you know. All right, so I've got my eyelid that goes up, up above and around it. My eyelid. I moved on to my pen here. So I seen this shape here, the space here, and the eye brow, the way it's attached. And it's hard, especially when you're trying to draw somebody and it doesn't look like them. That's okay. You know, you're, it's, what's important is the practice. It's not going to look like it. You know, you got to get those drawings and then you get the proportions and the spacing and the placement. Mm. All right, I'm going to do this other eye. Right in here is the little duct. Little duct. And it goes up, and then down, like that. That's the top eyelash. And the bottom kind of just curves up around it and attaches itself like that. All right, so we have a little bit of an eyelash. I'm going to put it just slightly right there, sticking out slightly right there. Yes. Yeah, this is, I'm, plus I'm drawing too small. So here's the oval. Oval goes underneath the eyelid. How it fits in there is a whole lesson in itself. Yeah, this is, yeah. Hang in there, hang in there. Again, I'm not even, I did more detail on the turtle's eye than explaining this eye. I'm just doing it. All right, all right. <laughs> Who is that? All right, so I'm going to put the eyelid in there. The eyelid, there's an eyelid. And then, there we go. Watching my spacing, I'm going to bring this eyebrow up. That's, that was just kind of like a guideline. I can already see it. I would bring this eyebrow up, especially with that other eyebrow. Bring that eyebrow, make that the bottom of the eyebrow. You get this shape. Really, usually eyebrows too 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 angles you got this angle going this way and then this other angle coming down this way the, there we go and it tapers it's like a beak a beak's head beekman's world yeah you're getting it nine o'clock nine oh two definitely our last drawing for the night here we go yeah i can get this pen and kind of like actually yeah, there's a little bit of a gap between the lips all right so i got my spacing this space right in here remember that that little almost uh diamond shape in the hair there's a little bit of a over here right up there the forehead and then the hair kind of coming over it. It'd probably be better to do with my pencil. But let's get that ear in here. I got these two angles. There's this angle here. I like that one. And I'll do it right there. And then curve slightly to this angle. And then the chin. Just straighten it out slightly. There we go. Now the neck is always tough. I think I think on the neck on the last week's drawing, I did it too thick. Where's that neck drawing? It was way too thick. I wasn't watching. Where's that neck? Oh, not that one. This one, yeah, the neck. I think I got. Yeah. Oh yeah, this should this should be a little bit more this way. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably a little more like that. Slightly. That's good. All right, let's go back here. All right. So this ear right in here, it's this shape like that. And then you got your inner ear. 
you got this uh, kind of like a question mark shape. This is the little ball right there. Goes around it, comes up, and then it goes in. And all these shapes, not just like I have names. I'm just going to shade it in. Keep it simple. Right there. There it goes. All right, let me use my color pencil and get the hair in. Oh, I'll get the neck in. But this is really important. So right about here, right where that curve is, that neck comes down at an angle. Right in there, right, right there at that part. And then right where the ear is, right down that way. And it comes in a little bit because of the hair. I'm going to bring that out. Sternocleidomastoid. And I can imagine where that muscle is. And you can kind of see it in there. Because that muscle goes behind the ear and comes down to the... And this is where you're studying the muscles and studying anatomy. Really helps placing everything where everything goes. There's hair, a little bit of hair kind of coming off this side. So that's actually pretty cool. The long hair. Bring this back and out. Let's put this hair in here. And then we're done. Call it night. 903. Put some a little more hair on there. So this is where I like the, the pencil is a little better than the pen. I'm going to add a little more. I'm going to give it a little more shape right here. That shape of that head. That still getting that egg shape. Bringing it up slightly. And just bringing it the hair down. There we go. Yeah, because I can shade really quickly with this and shade all this hair. It needs to go in there. I would probably like to shade it in the direction. I would probably move. That would probably be it. I moved my whole paper in that direction and then shade in this direction. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Lay off the menthols. No, I'm just kidding. I don't smoke. Oh my gosh. I don't like when I see butts. I know that I know the plastic and stuff that's inside cigarette butts. Here we go. All right, Meadow, are you there? <laughs> Your suggestion. <coughs> Water time. <coughs> now there's value and form and, and to get the hair. Uh, it's, it's a little darker in here to really capture the form and the solidness. But, um, oh, my cameras are off or something. <coughs> Zoom out. <coughs> I always forget. I got to get, yeah, I do get some distortion because I'm looking at my paper like this, slightly like this. I don't know. I'm getting distortion. Mm, I feel like I have slight distortion somehow. <coughs> I got to start looking straight down. Especially. Ooh, wake up. <laughs> especially especially when it comes to drawings that need to be accurate because I'm looking back and I'm looking down at this angle I need to look down my, my paper all right let's call this one a night let's put it for the books my gosh here we go I think this is good all right so know where you're at know where your challenge is if you're having challenges if you're having trouble that's where the learning is say hey Chavez I'm having trouble with this not just let's draw this. Okay, let's draw this. And, well, it's fun. But I don't know what you're struggling with. I, I, I know what most people struggle with. Spacing and proportions and ratios and angles. Shading. <clears throat> you see, now we can start doing some of the shading. Now it doesn't look like her. I'm looking at it. Oh, add some shading in here. That's okay. <clears throat> Looks like somebody. Woohoo. All right. Sign it if you like it. If you don't like it, it's okay. It's a sketch. Let's we'll keep going to the next one. It's always about the next one. <coughs> the next one. The next one. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Where's my where's my cough button? All right, Demi, you tried it. Cool. Demi, Demi. 
All right, I don't know if anybody wants to share, if you have questions or if you want me to try something or repeat something. Thank you for being here. Uh, so how many people are still hanging out? Let me see my numbers. What are the numbers? Oh, have two, oh two people raise their hands. <clears throat> I don't know if Christy, you're still there or you want to give it a try? Or let me see, we'll go with Jess. Jess is ready to go. Okay. Oh, okay, oh, oh, there you go. You had your hand up. Then. All right, there you go. What you got? Do I have? Hey, I don't know if you see it. Yeah, you. I, I see the 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 bridge, the Golden Gate. That's not it's, out. It's always being painted. Oh, I see a turtle, turtle, turtle. Can you see the turtle, turtle? No, just for a second. Your your bridge is in the way. I did not put the bridge up there. How to get there? Okay, so you need to go to your video settings. It's um, if you go to the bottom. Uh huh. Where it says, uh, you can see it says stop video. If you click on the little arrow in the lower left, on uh, mm -hmm. where it says, well, in the lower left is mute and then it's stop video. Where it says stop video, you click on the arrow and then it says um, choose virtual it's background different. or choose background. It's different. I'm on the iPhone. Oh, you're on your iPhone. Oh. Hey. Hold Hold it in. Oh, can you hold it in front of your face? It sometimes works. Yeah, okay. oh, there you, go. you got it. Ah, there's your turtle. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, wow. Yeah. you got a good sense of space as far as like um, how you stood them up. It looks like oh. the angle, the angle, it looks like you changed the angle. See like little curves and stuff like that. Yeah. It looks like you're looking down on it a little more. That's pretty cool. Well, I listened to you. You said go by the size of his head. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, what's different is the curve. I think the curve is a little different, but it's not a big deal. It looks good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Cat. Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> a little more. There you go. Right there. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Super cool. It's got a good feel. First cat. Good feel. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, the cup. <laughs> Your eyes are looking a little more up. Looks like he, he's like, home. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's the woman or the girl. I don't know. Not so good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that was a challenge. Uh, the, your left line. I see. I see where you're struggling a little bit, but you're getting it. That's good. The the um the cheek, the cheek. pushes out. The push on the on the left side pushes out a little bit. You can actually trim it. You can go this there. side. Yeah, that side. I'll make it too puffy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Uh, thank you. All right. Cool. Yeah, thank you for sharing. That helps me help you guys. So when, we, when I explain, I got to make sure. Thank you for sharing. And we've got Jess. I did have a question too, not about art. I've heard sure. that quote before. Um, shoot for the moon, even if you uh, like miss. You miss, you'll land among the stars. They had in high school, but I thought the stars were far further. So every time I would see it on the wall. Yeah, actually, you are right. You know, the, you know what? What's you know? Oh, here's my blade. Do you know what the closest star to us is? I think it's at four point two something billion light years away. Four point two four light years away. It's the oh wait, how far is the nearest star? It says distance to Earth Proxima Centauri. Yeah, it's like four. Yeah, they're all around four four point something light years away. But, but that's a trick question. That sounds far. No, it's far, but it's actually closer. There's a really? star that's closer. The sun? Yeah, the sun is a star. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sweet. Thank you for explaining it. I would always like look at that quote in high school, I remember, and I feel like it makes no sense. But... Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, because, well, if you think about it right, I know. It's, it's Space-wise, space the moon is actually really close to the Earth. And, and, and when people, you know, the space shuttle, people think that the space shuttle goes out into space, but it really just goes outside the orbit. Orbit doesn't go out that far. And, you know, going to the moon is a whole other, whole other thing. All right. Thank you for sharing and good to see thank you. Thank you so much. Good to see you. I want to start coming back again. All right. Sounds good. Good to see right, you. Back. And then uh, Peggy, let's go to Peggy, see what you got. Let's see. There we go. Ah, there's your turtle turtle. That's good. Good solid standing. That's awesome. Just like the other one. I, I'm looking at mine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. 
Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made her look younger. Definitely yeah. this is a challenge. No, it's good. It's just a proportion. I've been, I've been drawing children. So maybe oh, okay. I see. Ah. I did this oh, one. There you go. Wow, that's perfect. That's great. See, that's the, we, we've done a, a forward looking face like that. That's cool. Well, thank you for sharing, Peggy. Good to see you. All right, let's go with uh, Springer. All right, here we go. What you got? You're there in the, in the halls of knowledge. Oh, you just, oh, there she is. Oh, she's gone. She's like there for a second using your procreate. There she is. Oh, ooh, the eyes. I like those eyes. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. All right. Nice bridge, though. Wow, that's good. If we leave tonight, nice work there. Nice. All right, cool. Thank you, Springer. Thank you for sharing. All right. I don't know if anybody else. I think that's it. Okay. If anybody wants me to do a screenshot, I can do a screenshot. Actually, we can do a screenshot. I can do a screenshot of your work and, and kind of like um, if anybody wants to volunteer, we can do a screenshot and tell you, I can show you, give you some feedback. Can, can I do it? Yeah. If I could find it again. So sure. I do want to learn how to make faces. Yeah. Yeah. And getting that feedback I mean, it helps. I think, I think yeah, it helps. So let's see. Is that How do Jeff? I send you a screenshot? No, I, you can just, you can put your camera on the, um, you can put your image on the camera, uh, just like Christy's there. Christy, let's do Christy. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Let me move this over here. Here we go. Hold on one second. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's perfect. Boom, oh, got it. All right, you're good. All right, perfect. All right, let me see. Uh, thank you. All right, I'm going to share my screen and we'll go ahead and uh, take Christie's and, and 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 then talk a little bit about where people are struggling a little bit, and and it's it's because it's it's not easy. It's not easy. I mean, this this face is tough. <clears throat> All right, so structurally is what we're really looking at. We're looking at the structure. Uh, here we are, Photoshop. Uh, let's start, do file new. All right, clipboard create. There it is. I'm going to paste it, and you can see my two screens. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's zoom in on this. Yeah. All right. So, um, all right, here we go. Yeah, this is, I really need to probably do the, because uh, this will help when you get to here, is doing the um, other, other faces. Let's see, circle, ellipse, fill, no fill, stroke. Oh yeah, that's good. Control Z. So getting that structure first, um, is it? All right, here we go. That circle part of the head, because it looks like it's pushing back. And I don't know if it's, it could be because it's at an angle or who knows, but, um, oops, I'll move this, it's easier. Um, but that circle probably should probably be a little bit more right in there, right in there, yeah. See, so it's, uh, it is pushing back. And also this too, here, let's see. It's getting that face mask. Uh, I'm not used to using the drawing, these drawing tools. Let me see. Is it the pen? Oh, here it is. Here's the pen. pen. Okay. So, um, yeah, from here to there. There we go. Yeah, getting this, this face part. Because it looks like it's it's pulled out here. You pulled it out. Because it, it what's happening is it it um, this angle is good. This angle looks really good, and this angle looks good. Um, let me escape. There we go. That's good. And then um, getting form. So if you study form, you'll get this because this is a sphere here. And as this goes across this, and actually would go back in space and then come down here. And then come down this part right here, and then the uh, the the proportions. I think the chin, the the lips probably could have um, lower. Yeah, a little lower or bigger. I don't know. Let me see. Actually, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and draw on this. I'm going to go ahead and um, add a layer. 
Let's add a layer. Cool. Add layers. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and just draw on it because um, I'm getting frustrated with these tools a little bit. I'm going to use my brush tool. Yeah, I can't do it there. There's my layers. There we go. Add a layer. There we go. Okay, now I can zoom in to All right, so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go. Let's make these tools. There we go. That's yellow. Flip it around. Oh, here we go. All right, so that's the form. Now, pushing this out a little bit more, the, this uh, forehead. the forehead oh. yeah this forehead is pushed back see this space right here getting that solid shape of that head it's almost this um it's this shape right here oh hold on let me bring up the opacity make it a little smaller Oops. it's this shape right here this shape right here so this shape there and if you look at a skull and here's the mask this shape there yeah it would probably been there a little better watch it and and it's this shape and i would actually probably even say it's a bean shape there's a bean shape with this um this mask that kind of comes down like that watch so the chin is too long yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it went a little long, slightly. All right, so here we go. And I'm just, I'm just doing this without even looking at the picture, without looking at the picture. So the lips need to go back a little bit. Um. Yeah. Yes, yeah, back up a little bit. There we go. And then this eye is good, and probably a little bigger. Huh. Yeah. Let's see, she's an eyeless on the side. Let's see. It's kind of hard to draw with the mouse. And, but I did it for a long time. Here, let's see. There you go. Mm, I see. Oh, yeah, you see it? Okay, and then right here, the cheekbone, the cheekbone. Yeah, there we go. The cheekbone. Yeah. And then if we need to add to the to the um, chin, we can add to it or take off to it because that's what you want to look for. You want to look for this shape in here, uh, the shape for the chin, and you make those adjustments. If we need to make that adjustment, make it bigger, you can make it bigger and maybe bring this up a little more. Let's bring that up a little more. There we go. Now, this is where people had trouble. This is, I think I saw somebody else's um, in here um, getting this, the, getting the um, profile or this, this, this shape right in here. I had so hard to draw the name. That shape. And then as it comes down, there we go. That, um, that edge. We have this angle here. <laughs> and then you have that angle there. I guess I'm getting used to procreate. There we go. Then it's high. I'm But uh, the eyes. Yeah. I'm sorry. The eyes need to be bigger. Eyes need to be bigger. Um, I think I think that's fine. Look at that. I'm looking at this eye space in between the eyes and the, this eye, and there and that is about right. Um, I think I think this ear needs to be a little bit more of a of, of um, attached. Yeah, like that. That shape a little bigger. There we go. And then uh, here we go. Let's see. Yeah. Ah. I wish I had my uh, drawing. You know what? I, I'm going to have to learn how to uh, attach my drawing tablet. Uh, but I don't. Oh, yeah, I can't do two screens with a drawing tablet. Uh, and then here, the chin. This chin comes right about right, right in there. There we go. 
Now you're gonna see now now you're gonna see when I um, actually go back and forth, you'll see a difference. You'll see the difference. Even though it's kind of hard to draw with the uh, when I go back and forth. Watch. Yeah, and I don't know if that's uh, yeah the angle of the eyes. This one it goes lower. It's 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 this um, tilted. Yeah, watch this spacing that's in here. Let me use a different color. Uh, it's yellow. The spacing in here, this space, there's a, there's a shape in here. You want to capture that form, and then and then and this shape right in there, the way it kind of wraps around. But also getting this angle here, and then this angle there. That mm. angle you got you got this angle. This was really good. This was really good. Whoa, what is that? And then the ear. Uh, but yeah, as I turn it off and on, you'll you'll see the difference as I turn my drawing off and on. Mm. Your nose looks really nice. You're getting some really nice stuff with the nose. Yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> and your eyes look good. And it's just the placement. It could be partly too the the screenshot. I don't know if your camera was at an angle too. There's all kinds of other factors, but those are some things to look at. Uh, and actually, this looks good here. Uh, I really like the way you did this line here. Thank this line you. is really good. Uh, this line here, oops. Yeah, that line actually is better than mine. It's straighter, straight up and down. Right in here, yeah. Uh, Which line? Let me add another layer. Hold on. That cheek line, let me add another layer. I need to add another layer, uh, right there. Yeah, this line is good. That one right there, that's good. I just, I'm just bringing it in a little bit more. I think it's just bringing that nose out. There you go. Bring that nose out just a little more. Then maybe bringing it down. Let me see the picture itself. There it is. Yeah, it goes up. I have going down. Yeah. yeah, just the nose. Bring that. Actually, that makes a big difference. Bringing this nose out. Look at that. Bringing that nose out made a big difference. And then, and then thickening it up probably a little bit more. Yeah, just that alone, that nose. The bridge. This looks, yeah, that, yeah, the bridge, bring that nose out a little bit. And that has to do with form, being able to see the form. And then, yeah, so pushing this back a little bit more. Yeah. I don't know if that's... Pulling this out, pulling the forehead up a little bit. And then, um, there we go. Like that. Like that. This is the cranium. This is the cranium, the skull. Let me see if I have it. Oh yeah, here it is. Let me see. All right. Something in the chat. Yeah, I really like the nose. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. I'm a grateful, wonderful class. I'll see you again next week. Yep, next week. All right, here we go. There's my skull. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. Upside down. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So the the back of the skull. And this is actually not to proportion. Um, the proportions are off. They actually extended this more, but it does kind of come around. I have my other skull. Here we go. I've got this one. This, where's my other skull at? Where's my other skull? Oh, he's got too much hair on this one. Yeah. This would be good to draw, but the hair back here, yeah, it gets cut in. You wouldn't be able to see that shape of that head, but it has that that form. Best way to do it is, uh, oh man, that, that's what we need to do. Okay, the structure of the head. We'll, I'll try to get stuff together for next week for that to help everybody. All right, we'll call it a night. Thank you for joining us. Woo, man, we did it. Some great drawings. 926, 930. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.